Welcome to Fillable Document. We are thrilled to introduce an extraordinary document generation tool. Fillable Document is a comprehensive document workflow automation solution designed exclusively for Google Workspace. With our innovative platform, you can effortlessly visualize your data and capture all your information with ease. Our advanced features enable you to generate professional quality documents and seamlessly deliver them to your intended recipients. Experience the power of fillable document and revolutionize your document management process. Now let's get started in setting up the fillable document. For the fillable document for the sheet, for example, I choose an invitation letter sheet where I have some data stored. Then I choose an invitation letter document to map that data with the dynamic fields. Introduce dynamic fields to transform your document into an interactive fillable form. There are two types of dynamic fields available, dollar curly brackets dollar and double curly brackets. Let's customize the invitation letter as a fillable form with dynamic fields. For example, make the data dynamic field. In the same way, you can utilize dynamic fields according to your needs for your document. With these dynamic fields in place, your document template is now ready to become a fully fillable form. Now we have customized the document as a fillable form template to generate. Let's open the fillable document for sheet add-on from the extensions. When you open the fillable document for the first time, a setup page will be displayed. You will see two options. Start Setup and Try Demo. Choose Try Demo to access our pre-prepared sample template data, which can be used to create a fillable document. Just click a template to append the sample data to your current template. Feel free to explore and utilize our templates as needed. Now, let's focus on the Start Setup option. Click on Start Setup and you will be presented with two options automatic setup and manual setup. For the manual setup, we will go through the steps one by one, allowing you to choose the document template and perform any necessary steps. However, for now, let's choose automatic setup. This option will complete all the steps automatically for you. Automatic processes are completed. Just click explore now. When opening the fillable document for the first time, it shows the document template section to choose a template. For example, click add template and I choose that we have already prepared an invitation letter document. Delete templates using the delete icon as you need. Open the template by default. Templates are generated in both chosen document and PDF formats. If you want more formats select the desired file format for generating it. However, native Google document formats like Doc, Sheet, and Slide cannot have the format changed. To share the generated document, click the Share icon, provide the recipient's email, and select the desired permission. This allows for easy document sharing after generating. Finally saving document template changes. Below that, you can see the field mapping section. Now we can see what the mapping is. Mapping is nothing but assigning a document field value with the sheet's value. Let's see how it works. You can choose a sheet tab that has the data and refresh the selected tab to get new values for mapping. In the field mapping, we have two columns, doc field and sheet column. Your respective document fields are listed in the doc field. In the sheet column, we choose a sheet header from a drop down. This allows us to map the sheet value to the desired document field. If you have the same document dynamic field name as the sheet column name, it intelligently does the automatic mapping. Now, for manual mapping, let's take an example. I have a date and chief guest's name fields in my document, so for the dynamic field, I want to map the value from the sheet column, 
so I choose the date and guest's name column to map. In this way, you can map all sheet column values to the respective documents fields. Then you have some options for the mapping. Simply click the plus icon to add a respective field as a sheet column, and click the delete icon to remove the mapping. Finally, save your mapping changes. Let's navigate to the home page, where you'll find the configurations. For now, we can skip this step and move to the document templates section. However, please note that we have already completed the document template configuration earlier. If any changes are required, you can easily edit and save them in this section. Now, let's proceed to the destination section. Click on the menu option and go to destination. On the file store page, you have the flexibility to choose a different folder or create a new folder where the generated documents will be stored. If you wish to modify the format of the generated document names, click the three dot icon and select the fields to include in the document name. By default, the setup includes the template name, date, and time. Let's now move to the email section. In the email section, you'll find a default email template for sending messages to recipients. Edit the template by clicking on the edit icon and make changes to the template name, from name, and recipient's email address according to your preferences. You can include the generated attachments in the email. Use Add Drive File Attachment to select files from your Google Drive as static attachments. Additionally, you have the option to clone the email template, delete email templates, and add new email templates as needed. Let's explore the Collaborators section. Simply click the menu, go to Collaborators, click the Add icon, enter the email address, and add the user as a collaborator. To remove a user, click the delete icon. They'll have access to the fillable document and its settings to make necessary adjustments. Enhance collaboration by adding users as collaborators. After completing all the configurations, go back to the home page, and let's see how to generate documents from sheet data. In the configuration section, you can find all the settings we have done, such as document template, source sheet, email template, and storage. This makes it easy to navigate to the respective sections by clicking through the corresponding icons. Next, let's explore the control center section. Here, you can control the generation of documents and send emails as needed. Enable the test mode to generate and choose a route to test the document generation process. If you enable auto run, the documents will be generated automatically every hour. To bulk generate, click on the bulk generate option, which offers two choices, all rows and matching rows. Selecting all rows generates your mapping data as fillable documents, while matching rows allows condition-based document generation. Let's focus on the all rows generation. Click the generate now button to generate the data. After generating the sheet data, you can see the total number of rows generated, along with useful details such as IDs, fillable status, and links to the generated documents. Clicking the link will allow you to view your generated document. Additionally, you can check your output folder to see all the generated documents. Click the folder icon to view them. To see your email message with static attachments and the generated documents as attachments, click View Derived Email, and simply click on the attachment to view your generated document. Now, let's explore the Launch Form options. 
launch the fillable form by clicking Open Web App. Fill in the respective fields. Once you fill up all the fields, save and generate the document, which may take a moment. Congratulations on successfully generating your document. Access it by clicking the provided link. To send the generated documents via email, access the email template by clicking send as email. Choose the desired template and send it at once, or send individual emails by selecting specific ones. The email has been successfully sent and delivered. Check your Gmail inbox to view the message and attachments. Click on the links or attachments to access and review them. Well done on generating fillable forms and sending them in different formats via email. After generating and sending the documents, you can access the fillable form details and view the generated documents in the Form Responses section. Just click on Form Responses and move to that page. Use the search function to find specific forms. Select multiple desired documents and click Open Selected to generate them together. Enable merging of documents to create a single file if needed. Click the sheet icon to view responses as a sheet. Click field settings to customize the table by selecting the field. In the response table, you'll find columns for actions and generated links. You can edit, send via email, clone, and delete a response. Clicking on the generated document icon allows you to view the respective document. In the previous sections, we covered how to generate and deliver documents and view form responses. Now, Let's explore how to publish your fillable form and make it accessible to others. Click on Publish Settings to begin. If you haven't published your document yet, click Publish Your Document to customize the publishing form. You'll receive a publish form link to share with end users. If you prefer a plain form without your template, click Show the plain form link to obtain the link. You can also send the publish form via email and have the option to embed it on your website. In the Publish Settings section, manage document generation and email sending when submitting the form. Customize email settings, the form button label and tooltip, and the message displayed after form submission. You can download the generated document formats. Select Submit New Response to show Submit Another Response. Specify a website URL for redirection. In the branding option, you can customize the toolbar for your publish form. In the payment section, accept payment on the form submission. Customize the form further with the visualize option. In audience control, Manage user access by requiring sign-in, allowing anyone to access, or restricting access based on email addresses or domains. Specify the number of times the form can be accessed. Finally, save the publish form settings. When opening the form, please fill in the fields.
Once the form is properly filled out, you are now ready to submit it. Please go ahead and submit the published form. It may take a few moments to process. The form has been successfully submitted. The invitation letter sheet and template are given in the description. Kindly check them. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you are enjoying our fillable document experience.